Hello everybody, this is That Shy Guy Matt, and today I'm going to be checking out the new series Dune Prophecy. Uh, as you see on my channel, I did watch the trailer for this, and with all that said, let's just hop into this first episode. What holds more truth? History? Yep. I know that lady's voice. When humans rose up against the thinking machines that had enslaved them. Really? What is... There was a war against machines? Huh. Grandfather deserted the fight. My great-grandfather. Are these Harkonnens talking? History branded my family as cowards, and so we were banished to a desolate world. So not Harkonnens? I don't know how I don't know how long this is before the movies. Hundreds of years, thousands of years. And I, Valia Harkonnen. What's Harkonnen? Okay, that was right. Made up of women unafraid of their power. Hmm. Okay. The first mother superior. She trained sisters to work as truth sayers, assigned to the great houses, to help them sift truth from lies. With their own agendas. Together, they would form a network of influence throughout the Imperium. Known as... Thought they were going to say their name. They required more than just guidance. They required transformation. She wanted to breed better leaders. Okay. And cultivate rulers we could control. Yep. This is their whole thing. And I would stop at nothing to carry it out. Wallach or... Homeworld of the Sisterhood. Oh, okay. She called for me. So these are... This group is what started the Beza Gener Bene Gesserit, right? I'm here, Mother Superior. Tell them to leave us now. Makes me wonder how many babies across the universe are Bene Gesserit, crossbred family things. Sandworm? Hmm. <laughs> Warned us. We have to prepare by putting one of ours on the throne, first empress, to rule the Imperium. Hmm. So even dissension in the Bene Gesserit, huh? Factions in the Sisterhood would only weaken our order. Hmm. I see. So they know there's factions. We must carry her legacy forward. Humility is the foundation of our virtues. Adversity always lies in the path of advancement. Hmm. Are they gonna kill the other faction of sisters? What are you doing? What should have been done long ago? Why do you need access to the breeding index? So I can return the sisterhood to its value. She did. This is us playing God, and we will be judged for it. Hmm. Dartea! Ah! There we go. Got use the voice. What? A new skill I've been honing. I will never bend. Use the voice again. Then take out your blade! Drive it into the flesh! Yep. Oh, the blood going to the water. I knew then the name Valia Harkonnen would forever be damned to the wrong side. What do we do? Sisterhood above all. Get rid of the body. Hmm. So it didn't go into the water. Gotcha. Symbolism. 30 years later. Okay. Okay. So this is 10,000 years before the birth of Paul. Atreides. Much longer than I thought. Mother Superior Valia. Yes, to House Varric. And you can tell House Harkonnen no. Imperial Guards. They're here for the princess. Mm. I think the whole point of her coming here is to be her own truth sayer. The princess will require her own call. Kind of cool we get to see the uh, this planet and how they... Oh, they acted 10,000 years earlier. Shall we? Humanity's greatest weapon is the lie. Mm. True. Lying is among the most sophisticated tasks a brain can perform. Mm. True. <laughs> For most of us, we don't like to lie. Body 
rejected. How does it do that? Pupils dilate, changes in breathing, perspiration on the brow. Tomorrow you will be tested on your program. Alusa Sukundas. Homeworld of the Imperial House. Okay. <laughs> so they've been using these, like, vibro shield things for, uh, 10,000 years? They know. You gotta... Constantine, you made it! She has become quite good. How was the sisterhood? Creepy. Oops. Oh. He's in this. Was he in the trailer? Don't remember. But your issues on Arrakis aren't going away. It is in my blood to build. And I think these ships are superior to all others. Hmm. So they've been dealing with Dune for a long time now. And the spices. I mean, I do realize spice is the key to everything, of course, in this universe. See you at the engagement ceremony. Mm. In front of you are men and women from the Imperial Prison. Your task is to demonstrate, at the least, a rudimentary command of truth saying. Her words are true, but her intent is to deceive. Honestly, these were the best you could find. Oh, there's boobies. Can't show that on YouTube. Tell us, why are you here? My mother and father sold me to a man who made his money peddling the flesh of children. I slit his throat in his sleep and did the same to my parents. <laughs> Looks on your faces. <gasps> Good at lying. Or is she? I hear Privet Richese is quite charming. The boy is nine. Every year before he comes of age is mine to do with what I will. Wondering if I heard that right about the age. The way you look at our new sword, Master. Mm -hmm. Soldier here from Arrakis. He survived. Desmond Hart. We heard your regiment was wiped out in a Fremen attack. Is he supposed to look like Jason Momoa's character, kinda? Or just happens to? The attack on Arrakis. They were insurgents from your own allied worlds. Their ship collected. It was theft. Mm. His story is true, Your Majesty. Or at least he believes it to be. But did she just control him? Looked like that she whispered to him or something. He's gonna die. I think everybody's gonna die, of course. Hmm. Gotta say, this is one ugly palace. Maybe it's just me. Hmm. What is the blue-eyed thing? I came to say goodbye. Remember the day my sisters and I found you? You would lead our Imperium. Hmm. So, as I'm getting the wrong vibe here, possible lovers, even though she likes a swordman, swordsmaster guy, but is marrying some other guy. I guess such is the complexities of the uh, princess and a possible future bezagenerate. Be bezagen you know what I'm trying to say. I'm tongue-tied, it's late. And a Jesuit. Our marriage may have joined the Imperium. It didn't cement it. Stop them telling you they chose that boy. Knowing his age would give them years to make Nez one of their own. Yeah. That boy comes with a fleet of fighters, which I need for Arrakis. So he was a nine-year-old boy, if I heard right. Yes, well, you and I would remember things differently. Oh. It might be wise to pair the princess with someone outside royal circles. Not to broaden the princess's worldview, it's to adhere her to our own. Emmeline is a bad influence. Jen has bite. If she can be tamed. <laughs> he does seem wild. She has reason to be loyal to us. Well, your favorite's like a lamb lost in the woods. Ship. This the Asian girl. Yep. You forget I'm the one who bonded with her. And what if this plan of yours causes the very thing we seek to prevent? Mm. But tomorrow you must return to Seleucus Secundus. This wedding will proceed. So, uh, try to figure out, is she, is she uh, the bad guy here? The main mother and head of it all? Well, this is the eight-year-old uh, husband. May I present to you my son? Right. Gotcha. The red dress and the vision with blood behind it. I am trying to protect us the only way I know how. Mm hmm. So there's still fractures in the sisterhood. My family calls me Ness. Father says this is just a formality. 
Hmm. So everything in the vision. This girl's key of it, huh? So something gonna happen at this wedding? A little Game of Thrones red wedding kind of thing? Yes, another series I have not watched, Game of Thrones. But I know all about the red wedding episode. The untapped value of whale seed. Are they talking about the space whales? Right? Isn't there space whales or am I thinking of Star Wars? I'm gonna look stupid if I'm wrong. <laughs> Oh, a machine. Wait, is he a machine? I wonder. That technology is forbidden! Let us, for now, overlook this transgression. Hmm. Something's definitely going on. Thank you, Nez. Once our marriage goes through something like that again, and I'll stab you myself a little bit officially. Okay. <laughs> nice. Definitely wouldn't mind a series about them fighting machines. That sounds awesome. We, we just passed the lowest. We're not going to the lowest. Spice? Well, it is blue, so maybe? I don't know. Some kind of drug enhanced with spice, maybe? Are you alright? There's a betrayal coming. This guy the whole time. This feels suspicious. And why only the great houses profit from spice? I thought the witches knew everything. Though. Kasha's never led me astray. Without spice, the great houses would feed me to the worm. <laughs> I don't know what I believe anymore. That attack should have killed me. The gods are listening. If the gods freed me from this vice of a wedding, consider me a true believer. Mm, something's definitely happening. I wonder what deities they have in this universe. Now that they brought up gods. And if they are real. So everyone does drugs. In every universe, in every story, I guess. Her eyes blue? Yep. Hmm. Everything okay? Oh, it's definitely some kind of spice drug. They're, s they're snorting. Because her eyes are blue. I wonder how many other people have blue eyes from it. Oh yeah, it's spice. Okay. So, drug-fueled, passionate lovemaking. Mm -hmm. What's wrong? Why are you even here? I know you actually killed your parents. Your story was a lie, but there was truth behind it. Mm. Murder's happening. I still say some somebody's dying this episode. This guy, maybe the eight-year-old prince. Finger? Data disc. Yep. That's what I thought it was, okay. Ah, uh, video of what happened? Oh, he's actually from Dune. He's just not a soldier for the Imperium. I'm getting that right. Spy. Be okay, promise. There you are. This kid's dead. But his eyes aren't blue, so... Hmm. And why are you here? There's no war here. Hidden in plain sight. Mm. That is why I've been gifted a great bow. To win a war requires sacrifice. Yep, yeah, okay, here we go. Huh. Really? Her too. Okay, so that was Dune Prophecy Episode 1. Uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know up front, I'm terrible with names that aren't like, you know, normal names that I'm used to. Just like in the Dune movie, aside from like, Paul Atreides, I can't remember any of the other characters' names really. Even Zendaya's character, Desert Mouse, I, I forgot her actual name. But uh, yeah, so, great first episode, it was a little slow at first, I wasn't sure what direction it was going, but now I see. I mean, I get the overall story, of course, but I don't know anything about the books. Did the books have this story in it? You know, previously, before the Dune movies are set, do the books talk about that time period, this time period, 10,000 years before? 
while I understood most of who everyone is in this, for the most part, is this guy. The weird guy that, at the end there, looks like he was eaten by the sandworm. But then, he's still alive now? Is he kind of like Paul, like some kind of messiah figure? And, okay, so he burned the boy with some power. I have no idea what's going on there. And then, I'm going to assume he burned the sister too, right? Somehow, from a distance? Because that was that's the only thing that I could think of. They were both burning. Is that in the books? What kind of power is this? Or is it kind of spoilerly and you can't really tell me? Then don't tell me. But uh, is he even from the books? Let me know in the comments. Yeah, I like this episode. I don't think I care too much about these two girls they're introducing in this school. The two young girls that each woman wants to kind of mentor to do whatever with. Their story, I don't really seem to care about all that much. I just want the grander scale of things and, uh, and the twists and turns of what's going on in the universe. But maybe these two girls will play into the future of Dune somehow, or at least in this series. Um, the visual effects were great. I really wasn't sure at first because Dune has some amazing visuals, but I think they did great with them in this. I am curious about the Machine Wars. I never knew there was a time period where they had machines that they fought. I'm assuming like the whole galaxy or universe or whatever was fighting them. Is that in the books? Because that sounds pretty cool. I'd like to see a series based on that. Um, let me know if I missed anything else in this. Like I said, again, I haven't read the books, so I'm sure I'm missing a lot of lure or characters. I'm sure most of these characters are probably from the book. So for me, I'm just reacting like, oh, new character. I don't know who they are. <laughs> but yeah, now that ending definitely left me uh, intrigued and waiting for the next episode, especially with this character that was burning people. You kind of got the sense right from the start something was going on. I'm just not sure about when he was talking to the king guy, whatever, the other sister did the finger thing, and I thought she whispered to him. Did she whispered to him to say something? To make up a lie to the king? I'm not quite sure what happened there. So, somebody could fill me that, fill that in for me in the comments too. Yeah, great, great epi first episode. I'm glad if it, it started to get going. It definitely reminded me of a, like a Game of Thrones kind of thing. There's going to be lots of twists and turns and a talking drama with some action here and there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm ever going to actually watch Game of Thrones. Well, actually, I did see the first two episodes, I think. Maybe first three episodes. Me, it was just too shock value for shock value's sake, so I just lost interest. I mean, everybody's allowed to be whatever they're into, but, you know, I don't really care about shock value stuff. At least when it's overdone, just to make something, just to make it more appealing to people. Like, ooh, look how shocking this was. Everyone, come watch it, like The Boys. The Boys has a lot of shock value stuff, so I didn't really watch it after episode two either. <laughs> Not that I think The Boys or uh, Game of Thrones is bad, of course. I'm just saying. This wasn't really my style. Maybe I'll try reacting to it in the future, give it a second chance, I don't know. Because I don't even know how Game of Thrones ended. Uh, I don't even know what's going on in The Boys. I just know Homelander is a thing. And the young guy whose girlfriend gets killed in the first episode. That's about all I know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you like what you've seen here, like, comment, and subscribe. Again, let me know in the comments if you can answer any of my questions. If you want me to continue watching this, I'm, I'm still going to watch it anyways. But And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.